Hi everyone, welcome back to math. Today we are going to complete lesson 5.6 on page 261. All you'll need is your math workbook and your pencil. Are you ready to begin? Excellent. Today we are just going to be working on addition sentences up to five. We're gonna talk about how to write the whole equation and I'm gonna show you another way to actually write addition equations too that you might see sometimes. So let's get started. As you can see, I spy some fishes. Do you? There are some fish. There are some fish that it looks like began in this location and there are two. So could you trace that two for me? And then there's that plus symbol again another fish swims up. So that would be one more fish. So if we started with two fish in the lake and we add one more fish, it would equal three. So we would read this sentence or this equation, read it with me, two plus one equals three. So here's where I'm gonna show you another way to, show, to write an addition sentence. So you see it this way two, oops, you can't see me there. There we go. Two plus one equals three. That's the way we have been learning so far. There is another way in case you were to see it. Sometimes when we add numbers, we can put them on top of each other. We put our little plus symbol over here still, but we'll put the one underneath. So this says two plus one. And instead of two lines for equal, we'll draw one big line underneath. That's similar, that's just like the equal sign. So two plus one, and we would write the three underneath. So you can do it either way. This is the way we're learning right now in kindergarten, but I want you to know that there are other ways and you may see it on possibly flashcards if someone's showing you how to do um, addition with flashcards too. So that being said, let's go ahead and flip on to the next page. In each of these um, uh, problems, in each problem, there are going to be a set of pictures. And we have talked a lot about grouping and counting on, and we're going to do more of that today. So let's look at number one. We're going to work with helicopters. There are two helicopters on the ground, okay? So we're gonna start with two. Go ahead and trace that two first. And our, sim our uh, plus symbol, Two plus, how many more are there? There are three more. So to count them, we could say, we know there are two, so we say two, and then let's count on. Two, three, four, five. So two plus three equals five. Let's go on to number two. There is some fruit here, it looks like, sliced up starts with one piece of fruit plus how many more pieces of fruit? Three. Very good. There are three. One plus three more equals four. Let's, let's try that out. So if we start with one, so you say one, two, three, four. One plus three more is equal to four. On our last one, this page, we have some hot air balloons and it gives us three to begin with. So go ahead and trace that three. Plus, how many more hot air balloons? Two, one, two, equals five. Let's test that out and see if they're right. So three, count on, three, what comes after three when you count? Three, four, five. Yes, three plus two equals five. Hey, by the way, before we leave, this and this, what are they? Do you remember? They're a flip. Remember, two plus three, three plus two, doesn't matter which order they come in when you're adding, you're still going to get the same answer of five. If you came up with that, good for you. Okay, friends, let's go ahead and turn on to the next page, page 263, and we have more of the same thing. We're gonna take a look. We start with one, 
And then it looks like some more boats are coming along. So go ahead and trace that one. Plus, how many more boats are we adding? Four. One, two, three, four. So we put a four. So if we start with one boat and we add four more, it says that it equals five. Let's check that out. Start by counting the first one. So one, two, three, four, five. One plus four equals five. Hey, number five, I spy some airplanes. Do you? It looks like some are on the ground and some are in the air. The ones that are on the ground, there are three of. So trace the number three, trace that symbol called plus, and how many are in the air? One. So three planes on the ground plus one more in the air equals four. Let's test it out. Start with your first number, three, and one more. What comes after three when you're counting? Three, four. Three plus one equals four. Number six, these look like some rowboats. Have you ever been in a rowboat before where you have to use your arms to paddle the boat? We are starting with two boats. So go ahead and trace that two and trace your symbol plus two plus some more. How many boats are here in the lake? Yes, there are three. So go ahead and put three. Two plus three equals five. Let's double check. Start with two. So two, three, four, five. Two plus three equals five. You guys just amaze me every day with how much smarter you are getting, especially with addition. Okay, on this last page, we're going to Look, we have a number sentence on the top, number seven. We have a number sentence, but it's missing some information and there's nothing there to tell us what's going to happen. So Ms. Vogel is gonna give you a little bit of a story. Our friend Bill went fishing and he caught two fish. So could you trace that two? And then what I want you to do is I want you just to draw two counters up above there, okay? If you're really artistic and you like to draw fish, you're welcome to draw two fish but I'm gonna start with just counters, okay? Plus, his friend Jake went fishing with him too. And Jake caught some fish. We don't know how many fish Jake caught, but we know however, however many Jake caught, there were four fish total. So four over here, okay? Two plus something equals four. I bet some of you already know the answer. In order to do find this out, we're gonna add on. So if we start with two, let's count. We're gonna have to count all the way up to four. So two, three, four. I was gonna draw them up above here because this is gonna tell us how many go in here. So two, three, four. Well, how many more did I add above that empty spot? I added two. You're right. So two plus two equals four. Let's check it out and see two, three, four. Very nice. And our very last one, we're gonna come up with a problem together. And we're gonna talk about fish, okay? I went fishing, I love to go fishing. Do you touch the worm? Do you take the fish off? I can do both. I like to dig for worms, I like to put them on my hook, and then I'm not scared to take the fish off the hook either. I went fishing and I caught four fish. Can you write a four on that first line? One, two, three, four. Plus, Mrs. Ott went fishing too. Do you know how many fish she caught? Well, I can't tell you that yet, but what I can tell you is that there were Together, when we put both of the fish, both of our fish together, there were five fish all together. So if Miss Vogel caught four, how many did Mrs. Ott catch if we have a total of five? Do you know? Well, let's count on and try. So we have to count up to five. So we start with what we have, which is four. Four, 
five. <gasps> We're already there. How many fish did Mrs. Ott catch? She caught one, you're right. Four plus one more equals five. That's our lesson for today, boys and girls, adding up to the number five. You're going to have more of that this evening or this afternoon with your homework. Have a great day.